Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another first impressions video for you. Um, today it's going to be on the La Roche-Posay, I'm not too sure how to pronounce it, but the Tolerian. I'm not too sure how that's pronounced, but you can see it there. Um, I'm not too sure how it's pronounced, but it's basically a dermo cleanser. I'm reading off the bottle here. Um, cleansing and makeup removal fluid. Face and eyes. All types of intolerant skin and you get 200 mils and it's made in France now it says how to use it is apply with fingertips massaging in with a gentle circular motion carefully pat dry without rubbing rinsing optional for external use only high tolerance tested under dermatological control use with or without rinsing so I do have a full face of makeup on right now so I'm just gonna really quickly pin my hair back I do have a lip product on which I don't expect it to remove because it's not a lip remover. But I am going to try that now. First I'm going to sanitize my hands with my hand sanitizer. Okay, now that my hands are sanitized, I haven't used this before by the way, that's why it's a first impression. But the packaging is just really really standard just with like one of those closed lids and it's just plastic. Let's get some in my finger. Ooh. The texture is really cool. It like goes into like a water feeling. Like it's really, really cool. Like it comes out like a cream. Like if I can get some onto my hand, like if you can see that it turns out like a lotion. So I'm just going to use that much to start off with and see if I need more. So I'm just going to rub it between my fingers and then circular motions on my face. Mm. It's breaking down my foundation. I think I need a lot more than this. I'm just going to apply it all over my face, just really lightly. I'm not using a long lasting foundation, I'm just using NARS Sheer Glow. It lasts quite little, but it's nothing like Revlon Color Estate or anything like that. Okay, so I can see a lot of residue on my hands. I'm just going to use a makeup wipe to wipe my hands, just so you guys can see what's coming off. Like I can see my makeup is breaking down. Okay. So it's definitely getting makeup off, like it's breaking down my makeup, you can see it on the makeup wipe. Um, obviously I'm not going to wipe my face with a makeup wipe. I think I'm going to need to go in with more, oopsie, product. So I'm going to go in with this much. I actually have no idea how much you're supposed to use. I've never seen any reviews on this before. I'm just concentrating on my cheeks first. And then I'll just apply some underneath my eyes. It's not irritating my skin or anything like that. I'm not too sure if you're supposed to be adding water, but this is really strange so far. And it almost got in my eye. I'm just doing it as the directions are saying. If it was my choice, I'd probably be using a cotton ram with this. I don't know what they're talking about not being able to rinse. I think you need to rinse. They're saying to pat dry your face. Does it say to not remove eyes? Yeah, face and eyes, so I'm going to try and remove my mascara after this. I think I'm going to go in with my first padding motion. Okay, I've literally just brought a towel from the bathroom. Don't diss. It's saying that you don't rub. What does it say? Carefully pat dry without rubbing. Okay. I can try that. Patting dry. Okay, seriously, patting dry is going to take forever, but I'm, I'll do it anyway. I think I'm going to have to go in again with like a second lot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm definitely going to have to go in again with a second lot. Just where like it didn't really get it the first time. Not because the product didn't remove it, just because like I didn't really pay much attention around my eyes. And the corners of my nose. My skin feels so soft, like surprisingly soft. I'm just going to go with a bit more for my eye area. I'm just going to do one eye at a time. Just using like a pea size amount. Just put some on my eyebrows as well. I'm just going to rub that over my eyelashes. I'm going to give that like a minute to set. So far I'm quite impressed with it removing the makeup off my face like I can't visibly see anything which is amazing 
I'm not too sure if this was supposed to remove mascara, but... I might have to go in with a second bit of mascara. I mean, product to remove my mascara. Okay, so again, I'm just going to use like maybe half of what I used before. I'm just going to apply it to my eyelashes. So far, it's not irritating my skin nor my eyes. And it's just making my skin feel soft, but not sticky. This is so gross. Like, this is not appealing. Like, I probably, this is probably not how I would remove my mascara. I would probably remove it with, like, that Garnier micellular stuff. Okay, I'm quite impressed with how it removed my makeup. Like, really quite impressed. I'm going to quickly do the other eye now. And my eyebrow. So I'm just going to let it sit on the mascara for a tiny bit. And my eyebrows. And it got in my hair. I can tell that this is going to be really, really messy. Like, and I've used a lot of product. Like, this wasn't cheap. This was like $24 or something. Like, I bought it on sale. But, like, this stuff is not cheap. But I am adoring how, like, smooth my skin is feeling. So as you can see, it is removing my mascara. It looks like I have a black eye. So attractive. I'm just going to pat that away. I'm quite surprised with patting it away at how much actually it does go away. Yeah, that side was a lot easier to remove than the other eye, to be honest. I'm just going to go in with a tiny bit more just to, like, make sure that my hairline was thoroughly done. I don't feel any irritation um, still and it didn't irritate my eyes at all. Um, I'm not even going to try to remove my lip products only because it doesn't claim to so I'm just going to leave that on there. Now that I'm very sure I'm just going to pat away all the makeup or whatever's left over. So far my skin feels really moisturized. It doesn't at all seem like stripped or anything like that. It just seems really, really moisturized and soft and like nourished. I really, really like how it's feeling at the minute. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a clean makeup wipe and I'm just going to go over my face and see if there's any residue. Now, I just want to say that the packaging did say you don't need a rinse, so I want to see if you need a rinse. So, so far I've been doing everything as per the instructions and again, I'm just going to read them to you. Apply with fingertips, massaging in gentle circular motions, which I did. Carefully pat dry without rubbing. Rinsing optional. And that's what exactly what I did. So now we're going to go in with the simple makeup wipe. It is a brand new makeup wipe. I'm just going to go over my face. There's like the tiniest bit of residue. That's really, really amazing. Oh, there's a tiny bit under my eyes, but that might just be because I was a bit cautious not to get too close to my eye. There's none on my eye. Like it's completely removed my mascara. Okay, I am so impressed with this stuff. Like when it said, like, like just rub it in, I was like, what? But like, seriously, like I have like hardly any residue. Sorry, my camera just cut out. But anyway, I was just saying how impressed I am with like the smallest amount of residue coming off onto my makeup wipe. Like, I'm so impressed. Like, so, so impressed. Um, I would say you'd need to rinse it off like it's probably just literally the residue that you'll just need to rinse off But so far this stuff is amazing like This stuff is great Like I don't know how it does it. It's just like a liquid that you just like Put into your skin and then you like you dab it off I'm like what? I don't know I thought this was really really cool The only like thing that I would say is that you'd need to rinse it off But that's literally all that I can say I haven't had any sensitivity to it but then again I really do have tolerant skin um, it hasn't irritated my eyes so so far for me this is like a winner in my book this is amazing the only downside apart from the like having to rinse it off which isn't really a downside is I, I felt like I was using quite a lot so I'm not too sure how long one of these would last you but so far I'm so so impressed so 
yeah, I would, I would recommend it at this point. Um, okay guys, so that's the end of my first impressions video. I really, really, really enjoy this stuff. I think it's really, really good. Um, the only downside is I feel like I had to use a lot, but whatever. It did it so fast and it was just like, do 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 done. So I'm so, so impressed. Um, yeah, definitely let me know if you're going to try it or if you have tried and what you think of it down below. And yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye.